It's me, Jaddy wants to sleep. And Lizzie. Yay. <laughs> it's my cousin. He my cousin. Whoever <laughs> didn't see the long distance relationship video. And for all my new subscribers. This is Lizzie. <laughs> I be loving her yo. Aw, I be loving you too. So, <clears throat> this video is going to be about bras. Cause some of y'all bitches be running around <laughs> with y'all titties. Like down to your ankles. And we don't like that. No bueno. No bueno. Mm -mm -mm. And my subby, Miss La. <sighs> don't let me. I'm gonna message your name real quick. Hold on. Oh, Miss La La Love. And she requested this. And she wants to know where she could buy bras because she saw some of my pictures on my face and uh, I got the good coverage. Yeah. And the reason Lizzie's here is because I swear her and my aunt are like bra experts. They know yes. always, always. Because our family, <coughs> our women are very well endowed. Mm -hmm. Um we range in sizes, but everyone's are pretty big. Yeah, everybody got boobies in my family. Mm-hmm. So, as far as where I find bras, um, my mother is an Avon seller, so Avon has these really good bras, and the brand from Avon that we get is Bally. You don't have to shop, or you don't have to uh, shop from an Avon distributor. You can go to any type of store <coughs> and look for Bally, B-A-L-I, and they have really good coverage, and like thick straps to just... I'll put the link at the back. Right. The don't indent on your shoulders. Because when you have big boobs, they're really heavy. I've seen that. And if you wear a super a super thin strap that digs into your skin, and that's, that's not yeah. cool. Women. If your breasts are larger than an A cup, your bra strap should be thicker than a centimeter. I'm just saying. Because <laughs> even women with B and C cup, like, why... Why why is your boob by your elbow like that low? Your boob it's 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 supposed to be be in between your shoulder and your elbow. Somewhere in that area. Somewhere yeah. Somewhere in that area. Right. If 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 it if it's up too high you can tell. And if it's too low, it just don't look right. And it makes your clothes look funny. Yeah. It does. And when you're and, and if you're wearing the bra, wrong bra, like you can tell. You can tell. And and not only, listen, not only do women wear bras that are too big, they also wear bras that are too small. small. And then you get the popping, like, and it looks like the boobs four, coming out of the Like top my aunt would say, it looks like you got cuatro tetas. <laughs> <laughs> so don't do that. It's not a good look. Um, I sometimes get bras at, at JCPenney. Um, unfortunately, when you have big boobs, you have to. You have to spend some more money. Victoria's Secret is not are not for <laughs> girls with large breasts. Victoria's Secret is the, the only good thing about going there when you have <coughs> large breasts is to get a measurement so that you know what size you are. So you can take that information and run off to another store. Yeah, it's true. I also it's get bras at Lane Bryant. Um, whether you are a skinny girl or a big girl. If you have big boobs, Lane Bryant is a really, really great place to I get bras. my bras there, and they're really good, and they last a long time. They're made of good material. They use good materials. And I had, like, one Lane Bryant bra that lasted me, like, two years. And the only reason I got rid of it was because I got tired of the bra. Not actually because the bra was, like, right. damaged or I needed to throw it out. It was just... I also buy bras at um, Avenue. At the oh, avenue. avenue, right? Yeah. <clears throat> and I don't use underwire because not. I'm just gonna make a point about that. You have to know the size of your or the type of breast you have. Like some women have really round breasts, so when you have really round, that kind of encompass all of your chest. Maybe underwire wouldn't be the best option, but if mm -hmm. you have like kind of like teardrop, where it kind of like curves out like that. Um, a good underwire, a bra with an underwire is a good idea. Yeah, and I don't use underwires because I don't know if any of y'all have it, but like right under my underarm, 
I I uh, I get fat there. I get big there. So my boob actually like comes all the way around, and then they scoop. They they look like triangles. <laughs> they, like <laughs> they look like triangles. <laughs> so what I do is I I I don't I don't get like I can't get underwire. First of all, because my belly sits up high, so what happens is that the underwire sticks up and it pokes up and you can see it. And then if I if I fold it or I bend the wire, what winds up happening is that when I get up, you can see like the little points. So that doesn't work for me. Yeah. Uh, for me, underwire works best. I cannot wear a bra without underwire because then, then we have slippage. And when it slips underneath the bra, you can tell. Um, I, like I, people can tell when they look at your chest that like, your boobs are slipping. <coughs> and then you have like that double breast thing going mm -hmm. on. It's, it's not cool. So I'm a fan of underwire, but it's not the underwire of like when like when our parents were young. Yeah, the underwire different. technology now. Some don't even have underwire and, they, and it feels like or it has the structure of an underwire. So it's like having whole, the whole metal thing underneath your breast. If that scares you or you get like pokage because of it. There are other options out there. So just, you just gotta shop around and look. But the most important thing is to get yourself measured. You need to know what size you are. Mm -hmm. And from then, you go on and buy the, <coughs> the adequate bra. Yeah. And also I feel that the bigger your breasts are, the wider your strap should be. Because then you get more support. Also, there are bras that have like this whole like thing in the back that actually helps you like support your back. Right. So, so that you your have back a crossing, doesn't hurt. a crisscross kind uh -huh. of thing. And also, women, your bra in the back is supposed to sit low. It's not like I've seen some women where like the little buckle part is like really up high. It's supposed to sit low so that your bra goes up like in the front and it secures your breasts where they belong. So, if you ever notice that your bra goes up in the back, either your straps are not tight enough. Or the, uh, the elasticity has worn out. That means you need a new bra. It's old. Oh, bras should also, also be worn for about four months, and then you get, get a new, new one. one. Because the elasticity, no matter what, especially when your boobs are heavy, it just wears out. It's just gra gravity sucks. But, yeah. And, you and I'm saying, if you could buy... Freaking two hundred dollar sneakers. There's nothing wrong with buying a bra that's like seventy dollars or something like or, that. Or you know, like you go want to go buy out a Louis Vuitton bag. Like just hold off on that and buy yourself yeah. some good, good quality. Because it makes no sense to have a Louis Vuitton bag in your and your bra <laughs> are down to your knees. Basically, and this my thing is there's nothing wrong with spending money on your under under your. There's no nothing wrong with spending money. On good undergarments because they make your clothes look good and not only do they make your clothes look good you don't look disposable when you buy cheap bras you look disposable like your clothes doesn't look right it doesn't lay right on your body so just spend the extra money right I I go out and I buy minimizers so they minimize about an inch and three quarters and my clothes just fit better and because it gives, it lends me such good support. I feel my posture improves. Like I stand up straighter, so that my my tummy lays a little flatter. And who doesn't want to look their best all the time? So spend the money on the good bras. Good bras. Good. So um, I'll put links at the bottom uh, where we both buy our bras. And if you guys have any more questions and there's anything else that you want to know about your size breast or what it is that you can do to make them look bigger, make them look smaller, things like that, let us know and we will make another video. Alright, thanks for having me YouTube. Bye guys. Ciao. You can also get boys at BJ's.